Hey guys, Jim here. Um, so we are in our module five this week, and I just wanted to go over a couple of things in classroom. So I'm going to start off looking at the teacher side of classroom. So we've had modules three and four so far in our new classroom, got away from Canvas. Module two is still in Canvas. Those are all graded, by the way, at this point. Um, but if I go into module four and I click on it, I can see, well, even since I finished grading, two more people have turned it in. Um, now, I get that a lot of you weren't sure how to turn stuff in and where to turn stuff in, and that's perfectly fine. That's the whole reason I wanted to move to the Google Classroom platform was so that you could figure out where things go and how they go and where do you do this, where do you do that. Um, and so, you know, don't fret. I'm not counting anything as late that's turned in here. Um, I'll go in and I'll, I'll correct those. I'll give you full credit for them. Um, you know, I'm really happy with the number of people who are getting it figured out and you're you're digging around and finding things and that's awesome. Uh, I want to show you a few more things about that as well. So <clears throat> on the teacher side of it, uh, this is how I see it. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to click onto these because you'll see everybody's scores that I've done. Um, but that's where you would actually turn in your work. Um, and then let me let me go over to the student side. I, I, I'm in as a student as well. So when I want to turn in something or if I want to see what the assignment is, I can do a couple of things. I can come over here and I can hit view all. And that's going to show me things that have been assigned to me that I don't have done. It's going to show me things that I have missing that I didn't get turned in by the due date. And it's going to show me the things that I have done. I can go by the due date. I can do ones that have been early, so on and so on and so on. It also can show me my scores. It shows me you know, all kinds of different things. So I could do that on my to-do list. Or I can come back here to my class. And I can go right into classwork. And I could look at the scores for each of these things. So I can click on that. <clears throat> I can view the assignment. And it's going to show me over here. I didn't do too well. I got a 0 out of 50. Okay, so that's not all that great. Um, if I wanted to turn something in yet, I would come over here to add and I could add it from my Google Drive or I could just create a new document. Like if I wanted to make a, if I wanted to do a write up or if I want to do a slideshow or something, I could create it right here and it's going to automatically attach it to this assignment. If I've done it previously, if it's something I've built, if it's something that's a different file, it's not on my Google Drive, whatever. Um, you know, I could click on my Google Drive, I can add it from there. If that's something I want to create brand new, I can do it from right here. So it gives you some great options, especially as a student. It's really hard to lose your work. It's hard to not get it attached. It's hard to, to mess things up as a student. It's really fairly foolproof once you figure out where the buttons are. So I could add something here. I could resubmit it. I could, if I had, see, I haven't turned anything in for this, and it's been handed back to me saying that, oh, you got a zero on it, so that's why it, it would say resubmit. So I could add something to it and resubmit it. Once I've submitted it, let's say I wanted to fix something or do something to it, this button would say unsubmit, and I could unsubmit it, work on it, and resubmit it again. So you really do think of it just like a piece of paper. I turn it in. I have to get it back before I can work on it again, so on and so on. So it, it's just like that. And also... And I put a, a rubric in this one, just a very rudimentary one, so that you could see what a rubric in Classroom looks like. I just made a very simple one for completeness. Click again for presentation so you can see what the requirements were and creativity and so on. Okay, so I just made a real simple one for this one. Um, <clears throat> the cool thing is, as a teacher, um, as you see these buttons, if I turn all these back up, this is pretty close to what I see when I look at your assignment. I see these three tabs. I can just click on the tab and it automatically adds the scores. It does everything for you. It puts the score actually in the gradebook already. Uh, it's really slick as far as that goes. Now, this is one of those things where, again, we are not actually working with Google for Education in this platform. This is their free version that's not tied to a school. So in this version, you don't see grade over here. Okay, um, the kids in the school, they see it on the tab that says grade, so they can go in and they can see it. It looks like a grade book and so on and so on. 
um, for you guys to see what you're doing for class for your grades. You just go into classwork and you can look at you can view the assignment and see what you got. Okay, it does say that it's been graded, but if I click on view assignment, it shows me here that I got zero out of fifty, and that would show you also where yours was. Um, so that's in classroom. Uh, you can also see here that I'm getting ready. Oh no, you can't because that's the student side. If I come over back here over here to the teacher side, you can see I'm getting ready to uh, upload the module five. As soon as I get done with the video and stick the video link in here, uh, you'll have the module five stuff. Um, there's a link to the actual thing that we're doing this week, thing 20. Um, <clears throat> so that's what that's going to look like in just a few minutes. Uh, so let's talk about thing 20. Um, the link's going to take you here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is one of those that I was saying that they've changed up what it is. This was in the middle of changing it as we were starting the class. And this has gone from a flipped classroom uh, assignment to differentiated instruction and universal divine d design lessons. Um, differentiated instruction is not the same thing as differentiated instruction. <laughs> okay. She's going to, this is a good little video here. Please click on this video. Uh, she's going to give you some great uh, definitions and explanations of what this is all talking about. Okay. Pay attention to the learning objectives over on their side here. This, this is what I want you to get out of it. I want you to look at this video. Uh, you can look at the definitions here. You can look at some ideas here of things you, you could look at if you'd like to. These are some great things as well. And then once you get down all the way through there, go to the connect to DI. Another look, great little video, some teaching here they're going to do. Learn, support, and then eventually I want you to go to apply the DI and UDL. And they're going to give you a choice choice board. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're going to ask you to do two of the things on this list. All right. So I want you to take, do two of these, okay? Um, create them in your Google Drive, and then upload them to module five here okay um your reflection could be one you could do uh you're probably not going to do a training with your colleagues because you don't really have colleagues at this point uh you can use some of the tools you can look around at five different tools and reflect on what you like and don't like about them okay so there's a couple different choices you have here pick two of those and do that now when it says to move on to assistant, assistive technology, you don't need to do that. Because what that does is takes you to thing 21. All right, this moves you to the next thing. So once you get done with this differentiated instruction choice board, you're done. You do two of them. You upload them to here. And again, as a student, uh, let me go back to module four. And if I view the assignment, I could upload as many things here as I want. You know, I could upload three, four, or five different files if I want to. So same thing will be true when we get to module five. Um, you'll be able to upload as many different things as you'd like here. So when we're uploading something to be graded, something you need me to grade, it goes under classwork. It goes under the actual assignment. Okay. If I ask you to post something for other people to be able to comment on, that's when we're using the stream. And you go ahead and you click something where it says, you know, make an announcement. So as a student, again, I'm going to come back here in the stream. And it says announce something to your class. So right here I can announce something. And just like you guys did, um, you know, you posted. Some people responded. Okay. Not everybody got something responded to. Not everybody did a response. This was a learning exercise. We, you know, we need to get used to it. There will be some other times we don't have you do this. One thing that helps, helps everybody is if you have an assignment where you're supposed to um, comment on somebody else's work, let's try to get those rolling in around Wednesday so that people will have time to respond, um, you know, to before the end of the week. So if you could, you know, get it in by Wednesday and all that good stuff. So, <clears throat> again, that's student side. Here's teacher side. Um, that's where we're looking at for this week. And hopefully that helps you navigate around classroom a little bit better um you guys also have let me go back to student side here uh you can see the other people who are in here so if you wanted to um well, this one does not give you their emails okay 
So again, difference between the education one and the free one. Uh, but you have the ability to talk to each other here in the stream. Um, if you know anybody else that's in here, you can certainly email them directly if you want to, but you can certainly post things in the stream. You do your actual work in classwork and that should help you through everything. Okay. So thing 20 for this week, again, when you get down to where it says move on to assistive technology, don't do that. That, that takes you to the next thing. Okay. And we're not, we're not doing two things this week. Um, so hopefully that gets you through everything. Again, let me go back. You're going to watch this video. You're going to look at these, read them, kind of learn some stuff. Click on to connect. Watch that. Read these. Go to apply. Do two off the choice board. And uh, turn those things in. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, if you guys need any other information, let me know. So those of you who didn't get things turned into the classwork side. Okay, right now you're probably seeing a zero for it. Don't freak out. Okay, uh, as soon as you turn it in into that spot, I'm going to give you full credit for it. I'm going to grade it. It's going to be fine. Uh, again, this class is not set up for me to find ways to flunk you. It's set up for me to find ways to get you to learn new things. And you learning where to put things is exactly what I wanted. Uh, and again, I've been a little bit vague in some of these. You know, we did the assignment last week. I wanted to see how you could do. This week, I'm explaining it a little further so you can get, you know, a little bit more at it. But really, what I'm trying to teach is survival in a technology world. Um, because you don't always get great training when you get new technology in your classroom. Um, it's just there, and you've got to figure out how to use it a lot of times. So that's what I want us to do is be able to survive in that type of environment. I'm here to help. I'm here to, you can ask questions. I'll do whatever I can. But I didn't come right out and give you step A, B, C, D all the way down because I wanted to see you guys figure it out. And a lot of you guys did. Uh, now that I've shown you where to put it, go ahead back to module four. If you didn't put something in, please do so now. And I will get to where I grade that. Now, cool thing from the teacher side, if I click my view all, it will tell me what things I haven't graded, what I have graded. Like I said, two more things came in since I just finished grading a little bit ago. Um, so I'll go click on those and I'll grade those. Uh, but that's kind of a cool thing from a teacher's point of view. Uh, these are the, the things that have been assigned. I've graded this many. There's two more for me to do, so on and so on. So it's really pretty cool. They've done a lot of upgrading to this in the last three or four years. And it's becoming a pretty powerful tool. And uh, hopefully we can get pretty comfortable with it because I think a lot of people use it. The cool part is I think around here anyway, a, a lot of schools are using Classroom. And if they're not using Classroom, they're using Canvas, which obviously you guys already have some, some time on. So you guys should be in a pretty good spot coming out of SVSU either way. Um, so that's where it's at. And I will see you guys later. Let me know if you have questions. Bye.